Hey guys, it's Nelly from Brooklyn Active Mama and I am here with a running vlog. I'm gonna try to do some of these running vlogs consistently, maybe on a weekly or a bi-weekly basis, just kind of keeping track of my, I mean it just sounds so crazy for me to even say it, but my half marathon training. So last week I told you guys that I'm gonna register for a half marathon. I was freaking out about it and guess what? I did it. I registered for the Princess Half Marathon, which is gonna be happening in February of 2015 in Walt Disney World. I am very excited about it. The registration process was really, um, it was nerve wracking because I had spent so many weeks and months on the Run Disney sites and on the Run Disney Facebook group, which can drive you absolutely crazy, but they give you lots of information. And I knew that because these races have gained such popularity that it was gonna be kind of hard to register, honestly, because so many people would be bombarding the system. And that's exactly what happened. At about 11.58 a.m., I logged in, I was ready to register, and finally I got the link. And I clicked on the link, and everything was going really slow. Active.com would not take my normal um, email and password because I already have one I've done many races with active.com but I just wouldn't accept it so I didn't freak out instead I went through a guest so I re-registered and everything like that because you know I already have like 10,000 email addresses so it's like totally fine and I re-registered I logged in I picked princess half marathon which was a really big deal just in general, because <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? Am I really doing this right now? Am I really doing this? I'd probably be registering for the 5K, but no, I'm gonna push out of my boundaries and I'm going to register for a Princess Marathon. So I registered for the Princess Marathon. I mean, it wasn't easy. There was lots of times where it seemed like it would time out, but it didn't. I just had to be patient, so I literally counted up to 100 and just kept counting until the page loaded. And I was registered and under, five minutes, which was awesome, fantastic, and so satisfying. Unfortunately, a lot of the people in the group had a hard time registering, the site crashed, Disney had to give a new link, it was pretty serious. So, um, I was happy to register. I am officially registered for my first half marathon. Um, my training is going well. I'm gonna continue on my 10K training and then just pretty much graduate from there since I'm still sort of a newbie runner. I've run many 5Ks before, but this will be my first 10K, which is happening in September, which is sponsored by Built by Chocolate Milk. Thank you so much. And I'll be running the Run 10 Feed 10 race in New York City. After that, about a month later, I'll be running the New York City official 10K, which is at Roosevelt Island. So I'm really excited about my next two 10K races that are coming up. Training is going pretty well. Um, I love running. I mean, I don't love getting up early in the morning and I'm starting to have a big issue because it's getting darker. You know, I'm waking up at the same time, but it's getting darker outside. So that's, you know, safety concerns and all that stuff. So I don't know how I'm gonna resolve that, but I'm still running, I'm still getting up three times a week to run. Um, my weekend runs are the long runs. I am loosely covering the Jeff Galloway training program, and that's helped a lot, so I'm run walking. Um, it's been great. For the past couple weeks, however, I've been running the same route, and I get bored really easily. So I found a track that's local. I can actually run a mile to the track, run around the track, and then run a mile back. And that's what I did this morning. And I actually really like the track because A, there's a lot of people there, and the route that I was running before was kind of secluded and scary. Um, because I live in a really residential neighborhood, so, and, and lots of private houses, and big houses, and lots of quirky streets and all that stuff. So I was happy to see people on my run. Um, the track is not easy, but it's flat, which helps. And I can run around it and I don't feel bored running around a track, which is weird, but it's true. I guess, cause I don't have to worry about getting run over by a car or you know running into puddles and things like that. So there was lots of people on the track. I was able to put my music really loudly because guess what, I'm not gonna get run over. So I wanna thank you so much for 
watching my running vlog again i'm gonna try to keep these either weekly or bi-weekly whenever i can get a quiet house <laughs> um and i'll just talk about my progress my highs my lows the things that i like things that i don't like i'll probably start um sharing on the vlogs my playlist because i'm realizing that my playlist has to change almost every week in order for me to stay motivated with my running and that's all so thank you so much be sure to subscribe to the channel and also to visit me at my blog brooklynactivemama.com and thank you and leave me any comments of encouragement or if you're running the any of the 10k's that i mentioned or if you are running the princess half marathon i would love to hear from you okay so signing off this is nelly with my first running vlog